A popular event in Norfolk is making some big changes this year because of the coronavirus pandemic. If you like fall and art, you probably look forward to the Stockley Gardens Fall Arts Festival. The organizers just announced it's going fully virtual this year. You might be wondering how that's going to work. Well, here's Adriana DeAlba to explain. It's an October community gathering in Norfolk that people look forward to when the seasons change. We call it our little jewel in Norfolk. But this year, the coronavirus has forced the Stockley Garden Fall Arts Festival to go fully virtual. The decision, not an easy one for festival director Elena Montello to make. The only word I could say as the director of the show, depressed. <laughs> because we weren't going to have that camaraderie. We weren't going to have that community. Rather than browse art galleries in person, people from all over will be able to check out the festival online on the Stockley Garden Festival's Facebook page. Feel confident. We've got um, some time. The musicians are pre-recording their uh, videos and we're going to be posting them. Artists, um, some artists are doing live videos for us to post. The switch to a virtual festival comes during a time when artists are struggling financially. Tom Barnes is one of them. He's worried a virtual festival will hurt his bottom line. This is our revenue stream. This is the way we get to know new people who buy artwork and um, this is the way we get to see people who are collectors. That's why supporting any way you can, even in a virtual space, will be especially important this year. All of the money raised during the event helps the Hope House Foundation support adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The virtual festival will be on October 17th and 18th. In Norfolk, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.